Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drew's Obsessions. Now you probably know that I have done a lot of beard oil reviews in the past, but I'm very excited about today's review because it is from a company called ASDM Beverly Hills and they are very well known for making high quality products. They are generously donating four beard oils to four of my lucky subscribers um, and this sounds like a pretty good segue into the rules of my contest. Number one, the winners will be selected on November 30th, the last day of my Movember project. All you have to do to enter is hit that thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed to my, my channel, and also type in Movember for Life in the comments section below. Now each day you can comment Movember for Life down below each one of my videos, and each time you do this I will count that as a submission or an entry into the contest. So you can even do it from the November 1st date, even though I've already posted those videos. So you can have a maximum of 30 entries into this contest. I'll add a list of the rules down below just in case you didn't get all that. And as always, I never allow my family or friends to enter the contest. It's only for my subscribers. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at their products. The first product I'm gonna review here is called the Maui Trance. It's a beard wash for sensitive skin, which is really uh, good because I do have very sensitive skin. And uh, I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way without water. Just gonna trim up this really quickly and then we'll use the beard wash to see how it feels. Okay, so this uh, beard wash, it's uh, supposedly a kind of a conditioner for your face and uh, which is actually really nice to be using it now when I don't have my beard. It says here that uh, you leave it in, it, it doesn't lather up and it's just supposed to kind of coat your face. It's supposed to feel rich and creamy. So uh, let's test it out. I would say it's it's manly, but it, it could be unisex. It's kind of in between. It doesn't smell, it's not like perfumey, but it definitely has a nice nice scent to it. Okay, I'm coating my face here, my recently uh, shaved face, so we'll know, you know if, if it causes any irritation. You know, it's therapeutically formulated. Okay, I like it. Okay, on to the beard oils. Now, I've got three different beard oils here to try. I've got the Live Napa, I've got the Rum Rico, and the Maui Trance. Let's test out the Live Napa. Okay, here is the Live Napa. Uh, this is my first look at it. Shows the ingredients over here. Apricot being the number one ingredient. Nice packaging. And there's a dude with a beard drinking a glass of wine. Very nice looking bottle. It's, uh, it almost feels cool to the touch actually because it's, it's like a frosted glass. I've never seen that in a beard oil bottle yet. Uh, looks like the traditional kind of style lid. I'll open it carefully here so I don't spill it. Oh nice, it's got the uh, the dropper that's built in so you're not gonna get too, too much. Let's give it a smell. Very sweet smell, fresh again. I wouldn't say it's overly manly. It's not it's not feminine, but it's got more of a fragrance to it. Yeah, it's definitely not an overpowering smell. It's nice, but it's not an overpowering smell. Let's try uh, the Rum Rico. Okay, here we are. Rum Rico, exact same packaging, different logo on the top. This is very good because it is dark, First of all, so the light doesn't penetrate through it to um, to ruin the oil inside. And it's glass, so it's not gonna eat away at the plastic. Uh, so you, this is exactly what you're looking for in a beard oil bottle or container. And uh, let's give it a smell. A little sharper smell to it. It smells a little bit like a, like a form of rubbing alcohol. It almost smells like a, an aftershave. Let's move on. And the last one I'm gonna try is the Maui Trance. More of a citrus smell to this one. Number one ingredient, apricot kernel oil. The last ingredient on here is Maui fragrance. So what, I'm not sure exactly what fragrance it is. Again, it's to me, these these smell like a nice aftershave wood. So it's not, it's not an overly like, they're not trying to be over the top with like musk or anything like that. It's just kind of a subtle, kind of a clean, sharp, fresh smell like an aftershave or an after sort of foam or gel or something. There you have it, three unique smells, three unique, unique oils. Um, and I really haven't seen much like this before in my different uh, beard oils. These are more of a crisp smell and a much more similar to like an aftershave um, for all three of them, but they're all unique in their own way and they all smell good. Now to end this review, I asked ASDM to send me uh, a, a kind of an unusual product. This is called Age Defying Massage Oil. It's made of all pure oils, extracts, and vitamins. So I thought maybe I'd try this out for while I'm beardless, since most of the year I am bearded, might as well pamper my face while I can. Now, I did talk to them and they recommended that this is more for your body, not necessarily your face. I don't see why it wouldn't work for your face though, so I'm gonna test it out. And plus, then you can always use it for other parts of your body during the cold months when your skin's cracking. You can use it anywhere. 
Um, let me smell it. So it smells more like a lotion, like kind of like a hand lotion. It's made in the USA. It says massage gently onto skin using circular motions to increase circulation and maximize product absorption. Use twice daily. I thought it could smell beeswax and it is actually the number two ingredient in here. So uh, that's where it's coming from. Sort of a beeswaxy smell. Again, a lot of essential oils, the same ones that you would find in the beard oils uh, and distilled water being the first ingredient. Man, my face has never been treated so nicely. Just want to say thank you very much to ASDM Beverly Hills for sending me these very unique and very nice products to review. As you can see, the quality is very high as I expected. If you would like to check them out, you can go to their website at www.asdmbeverlyhills.com. And if you'd like to support me and also support the Movember Foundation, I'm selling three of my books over the month of Movember. Profits go towards uh, helping the Movember Foundation and you can check them out in the link below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. The last camera I want to talk about is the one that I'm actually filming on right now. It is the uh, Canon EOS Rebel T2i. I just use it with the stock 18 to 55mm 